creation, which was created before the what? Physical creation. And the animal kingdom represents the what? Physical creation. Listen. You listening? There's a relationship that exists between plants and animals. You know, you're a photosynthesis? Yeah. And I try to teach you biology, but Yahweh is biology. Yes. He's, 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 yes. Knowledge, is that right? Yes. Knowledge yes. means science. Is that right? Science means knowledge. You ready? Let's go. Plants take in sunlight, water, carbon dioxide to produce food and oxygen. So therefore, what we breathe out, our waste product, is what they breathe in. So they need all what? Carbon dioxide. That's what You follow me? And we, what their waste product is oxygen. We, so their waste product is what we need. Is that right? So from one bush, this is called a what? Bronchial tree. And all trees branch off to a what? A Y. Not an L, a G, a J, or a C, or an H, or a C for endocrine killing. Is that right? Clifford Kinley, or a K. You understand what I'm talking about? It's Yahweh and Yahshua, is that right? So from one bush to another bush, there's a symbiotic relationship that exists. What do you mean by symbiotic? You learn a new word today. <laughs> symbiotic. The reciprocal relationship. They're, what they breathe out is what we need, is that right? And, and listen, and what do you breathe? And who, what name do you call them when you no, breathe? No, no, no. Seventy eight percent nitrogen, twenty one percent oxygen, ninety nine percent carbon and water vapor. Four main ingredients in the air. Is that right? Why? Four characters to the name Yah. Tetra means what? Grandma means what? Yah. Hey. Wah. Hey. And you're breathing. And these are called glides. In English language, you don't have to fix it all, you're not right. Uninterrupted, not sure. Here, Bob. Here, Bob. Here, Bob. Here, Is that right? Here, Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Glide. Y, A, W, H. One, two, three, four. Four ingredients. Four ingredients, is that right? You follow what I'm talking about? And look, you have a head, a chest, and an abdomen. Most holy, please. Holy place, core around the ball, is that right? Check your face. Most holy place is your eyes. Is your eyes connected to your brain yes. via the optic nerve, is that right? Yes. You follow me? Your nose, is your nose connected to your lungs? Yes. Is that right? Respiration, yes. respire, life, is that right? Yes. Is that right? Yes. And this right here definitely connected to this right here, is that right? Yes. So the more you put here, the more it's shown here, is that right? Yes. So, so, oh, so, most holy place, holy place, four or one. There are 40 or 40 or four olfactory nerves in your nose. Why would there be 40 olfactory nerves in your nose? There have to be a four or 40 in the holy place. Is that right? You see what I'm talking about? And these are what? Flesh hooks. The court round about, they have flesh hooks. Yes. What do you call that here? Tongue. Did he take a tongue? Is that right? Life pole, the ignite, yeah, yeah, the yeah, ear. Yeah. And just that form that cloud here. Is that correct? Your tongue is a greeting system. They have a greeting system here. Is this where you offer your sacrifice? Is that right? For life, something has to die that you might live every day. Is that right? You only eat one time a day? No. Yeah, death, burial, resurrection. Yeah. Again! Breakfast! Lunch! Again! Dinner! Again! So I was again and again and again. And it makes you gain and gain. Is that right? Is that what I'm saying? Especially when you eat junk. Is that right? You get what I'm saying? So you breathe the name Yahweh in the holy. The name Yahweh is given in the holy place. Is that right? No, get um. Let's go. Wait, no, before you read Psalm 115. Get Genesis 4 in the last verse. It says, Then began men to call him being Yahweh. See? Genesis 4, verse 26. Genesis 4, 26. Read. Right. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Read. Then began men to call, up, to call themselves by the name of Yahweh. No, men, mankind didn't know the name Yahweh in the Antidiluvian world. You listen to me? Look here. Look at this chart here. Antidiluvian is the what? Court on the ball. Veil. First veil. Is that right? 
Post Dialogia is the one. Holy, holy place. place. Present is the one. Most holy place. Where was the name Yahweh revealed? Most holy place. In the holy place. Where's the name Yahweh revealed here? At your lungs, is that right? Where's the name Yahweh revealed here? In the, in the wilderness of what? Sinai. Where's the wilderness of Sinai? In the holy place, is that right? So it could, it could have been in the fourth chapter of Genesis. They were called on the name Yahweh. The name Yahweh was revealed to Moses. Where? In the what? Holy place. Holy place. Let's go to our tabernacle. Inside this what? Holy long term what? Incense. Incense. Yeah, this, this is where the high priest kept the garments of what? Beauty and what? So inside here, and with the mitre, holiness unto it. So the name Yahweh was right here in the holy place. Are you with me? And the name Yahweh was just revealed right here in your holy place. Is that right? And where you breathe from? Well, you can use your mouth to accept it. But read, where you read, you read through your what? Right, right, right. Or this is the holy place, is that right? <laughs> now read Psalm 150 and 6. Then Job 27 and 3. Psalm 150, verse 6. Read. Let everything that hath breath praise Yahweh. No, you have, you have breath, right? Praise. And sometimes you, you have a dog, you might walk the dog, right? Especially abroad, you know, people love the dog. Right? Sleep with the dog, all kind of things. Right? Too much, they love the dog too much. Dog in the house, you understand what I'm saying? Dog Stuff dog. like that. Yeah. <laughs> so if you walk the dog, you walk in the dog. You see what I'm saying? That's it. Young dog start taking a jog. Yeah. Yeah. They start to run, right? After a while, you and the dog are excited. Is that right? Because yeah. the dog has bread, you have bread. And you're both calling Yahweh. Job 27 and 3. Job 27 verse 3. All the while my breath is in me, the spirit of Yahweh is in my nostrils. What comes over your nostrils? Breath. Exhalation. Fear. Right, here, breath, here, is that right? When you exhale, inhale and inhale and exhale. Is that right? And look up the word breath in the dictionary. It says spirit, animation, is that right? Come here, Dr. Perfect. Yahweh, Genesis 2 and 7. Yahweh, breathe into the man's what? Close your eyes. Yahweh, breathe into the... Yahweh, form the man Adam from the what? Dust of the ground. You listening? From the dust of the ground. So no, this is just a demonstration. This is Yahweh. Elohim, is that right? Form the man Adam. He's done, he stretched out on the ground. Well, I'm going to have to You understand what I'm saying? Vision. See what I'm saying? They formed him from the dust of the ground. So what's there? I, no, when you read that, you, you think all kinds of things start going through your head. He was down there in the dirt, forming him. This ain't no art class. We get the movie. You understand what I'm saying? Clearly, it's not forming. That's not what Yahweh was doing. Boom! There he is! I'm Yahweh. I, I, he's all in all. You can do whatever you want. The, all that was here is dust. It's alright. I need it. It's alright. Shut your eyes. Read. 127. Genesis 2 verse 4. Read. 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 And Yahweh will inform the man of the dust of the ground. Tell us, will the man into existence? Is that right? Boom! Yes. There he is. All that is. It's not a man yet. It's just, a, it's just dust. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. Hold on. Yahweh wasn't going over the man that's giving him no more to more. But he had a more to more thing. He's such a teacher. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh ever did what? Boom, what we had. Got him to him. A man became a living soul. Without me in here, you can't breathe. Right. Eternity. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I'm the force, I'm the, the life force. And the source of life inside of you that's causing this, it's not even you breathing, it's okay. me breathing. Right. Breathe into the man's nostrils, the breath of life. And man became a what? Living soul. So if I step out of that man, close it. That's just dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But when I'm in here, dust became what? Flesh. Oh, flesh becomes what? Dust, is that right? So who's the boss? I'm the boss! I mean it, I got in it, is that right? Yes, I can do whatever I want with it, is that right? See? Yes, boss. I have pleasure in this. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? So you breathe into the mind's nostril, the breath of life, and you've been breathing the name Yahweh ever since. And then look, you're a wife from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Every, your, 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 your hair, the split ends on your hair, is that right? The name Yahweh is in your face. We're going to read the whole name, by the way. Let's just show this real quick. Look at, look at that man here. If I draw a circle, right? If I wrote Y, A, 
H. If, and then I put this here, extend that, draw a circle, do that. You could tell I'm no artist, right? <laughs> that's a this. <laughs> but that's why H in the mind's face, is that right? So he has eyes, nose, and a what? One, two, three. His faces. There you have Y, E, and H. Y, E. Is that right? H. W. The E is in the A sideways. And you have two lips. H. Yahweh in your face. And, and your eyes, that's your most holy place. Your nose is your what? Hold it, please. And your mouth is your mouth. In the most holy place, you have a, a Y. Is that right? You have overshadowing. In the height, it, in the, it was an ark of the covenant. Their wings overshadowed the what? Mercy. In the overshadowing, the high priest had a divine what? Vision. It, is vision in the most holy place? 2020 vision. Is that right? No, you check the vision in 2020. Moses in the mouth for what? 40 days. Your nose, in your nose, you have 40 olfactory nerves. Why would there be 40 olfactory nerves in your nose? Because there's a 440 in the what? Holy place. And your mouth is definitely a what? Coronable. And the name Yahweh is on your face. Right? No, your ears. Do you have ears? You're made the way you are for a reason. What do I call this portion of your ears? Ear lobe or the pinning. Yeah. Check it out. It's called the what? Pinning. Yeah. And the word pinning means what? Wings. Yeah. Now why would you have put pinning or wings? Look, say you have one wing here, one wing here. What's inside your head? Gray and white matter or clouds. Does that look familiar? One wing here, one wing here, and your yellow cell is going to fall up a cloud to see the wings of the mercy. You know what I'm saying? They call this your, your pinning or your your earlobes are called P I N N E, and it means wings. So don't you have a brain in between the wings here? Just like, and, and the name, you have the Y, the E, and the H in your face. And you're breathing the name, yeah. You follow me? And look, your bones, you have the, the humerus or funny bone grinds off into the old line of what? Radius. Emo bone brands up the tibia. You're standing on two Y's. It's one Y here, one Y here. Because yeah. Yahweh and Yahshua is your foundation. You follow me? Then your heart. How many times per day your heart beat? <clears throat> your heart beats 100,000 times a day. Is that right? How many times a day we breathe? 17,000 times a day. So watch. You breathing out. 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 You breathe. Seven point something billion people. Heartbeat. And Yahweh is beating seven point something billion people on the face of the earth. That's a lot of witnesses. A hundred thousand times a day. Is that right? Call on Yahweh. He's beating everybody's heart. Yahweh. Yahweh. He's causing everyone to, to breathe. What does Yahweh mean? The name Yahweh, what does it mean? <laughs> Yahweh means he who exists, listen, and causes to exist. Did you hear that? It's not just he who causes to exist. Yahweh means he who what? Exists and causes to exist. The self-existent one, the eternal one. What is Yahweh? Or who is Yahweh? Spirit. 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 Wait, go to church and say, Pastor, what is God? God is our spirit. And they are worshiping. Well, that, that's in the book, right? But Yahweh is spirit. There's a difference. That's right. What is spirit? Spirit is what? Thank you, God. Attributes, is that right? Wisdom, knowledge, right? Intelligence, beauty, love, justice, foundation, power, and strength. That's what Yahweh is. Listen, it was pure intelligence that created this creation. Is that right? right. Nine planets in our solar system, not one of them bumping into each other. Intelligence did that. Universal spirit law, is that right? right. 
Yeah. Exodus 31. Okay. Yeah, read Exodus 31 and 1. Um, and uh, where it says uh, Yahweh's spirit. What spirit is? Exodus 30, 31 and 3. 31 and 3. Read. And they have filled him with the spirit of Elohim in wisdom. Wisdom! That spirit! Read. And in understanding. Understanding, which is intelligence. That spirit! Read. And in knowledge. Knowledge! That spirit! Listen! Intelligence created this entire creation. Is that right? Intelligence is the source. Wisdom and knowledge is the what? Substance. Proverbs 8 and 1. Then jump down to 12. Isaiah 61 and 1. See? That's what spirit is. And that's who Yahweh is. He is divine wisdom, knowledge, intelligence. Read. Proverbs 8 verse 1. Yeah, read. Does not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? Read. She standeth in the top of the heavens. Then said she, is that right? And it's an attribute. Read on. She standeth in the top of the heavens. Read on. By the way, in the places of the past. And it's talking about wisdom. So wisdom is what? Yahweh, is that right? That's what Yahweh is. He's pure what? Wisdom. Knowledge, intelligence, is that right? You can't create a creation of ignorance. You see what I'm saying? All right. Verse 12. Which is, I am wisdom. I am wisdom. Oh, hold on one second. That's the first verse of singular. Is that right? I am wisdom. Why is it I am wisdom? Because that's what Yahweh is. He is divine what? Wisdom. I was set up from everlasting. You see what I'm talking about? That's who Yahweh is. All right. Well, with prudence. I yeah. find out knowledge of witty invention. Thank you. All right. Get another witness in the prophets. And then go back and write it all in the name all the way. Uh, get out. Um, no, no. No. Uh, Isaiah. Thank you. And the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon you. Spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon you. We're talking about spirit, right? What spirit is? Read. The spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. Read. I am wisdom, read, and understanding, read. That's what Yah or who Yahweh is. He's attributes, is that right? Nine principal attributes took on a super incorporated what? Shape and form. You listening? And it was this shape and form, wisdom, knowledge, intelligence, beauty, love, justice. He is the beginning of the creation of Yahweh. You listening to it? And he created the what? The angelic and the what? Physical creation and God in it. Is that right? He's not above the sun, moon, and star. And then everything that he created. Manifest him and his purpose. So that's why every tree will have to, to branch off to the letter Y. Why? Just to find the Yahweh and the sun. Yeah. The root system of the trees is that right? The lightning that flashes across the sky. The bird, the fishboard, the bird feather, the bird wings, the bird leg. Is that right? The bird foot. Is that right? All branching off to a Y. Because Yahweh, who is intelligent himself, created the creation. Listen, and signed it. Is that right? <laughs> Just like an artist. Create painting. Is that right? You understand what I'm talking about? Put his name on it. Signed it. Is that right? He created this entire creation and he signed it. Mankind being his prime creation. Breathing his name. You understand what I'm talking about? Everything branching off. To the left of white, just to find the yeah, oh, yeah. son Yahshua. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We're talking about spirit. Yeah. That's what spirit is. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Read. Read on. Luke 2 and 40. So I'm sorry. Finish reading that in Luke 2 and 40. And then run through it. And the spirit see? of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of wisdom. I am wisdom. Intelligence. Wisdom. Flying to what? Wisdom and what? Knowledge. Beauty. Love. Justice. Foundation, power, and what? Strength. That's who Yahweh is. Is that right? You follow me? He is spirit. Yeah, right. Attributes. See, read. Luke, chapter 2, verse 2 and 40. Read. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit. This is Yahshua now. Is that right? The son. Read. And waxed strong in spirit. Strong in spirit. Filled with wisdom. Kick it over benches. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Strong in spirit. Strong in wisdom. Is that right? Strong in intelligence. Is that right? And the grace of Yahweh. Listen, you hear these people. Yeah, if you stick around here for a little while, you're going to find out who taught these people in here. Pure wisdom. Is that right? Knowledge, intelligence, 
You understand? You're a fool taught us. Yahshua is the teacher. Is that right? We've been taught by the best. Hold on, we've been in the classroom for a while, haven't we? What's the mark of a good teacher? That his students learn. Is that right? Is that right? His students learn. You understand? I'm not here wasting people's time. I don't know why I hear your business when you get up here on the floor. We want to hear about Yahweh and Yahshua. Is that right? Our oh, Father's business. You see what I'm talking about? You see? Three. Luke 2 4. Fill with what? Wisdom. The child group. I'm sorry, I'm going to buy this term when you're reading. Can't help it. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. How is it that he saw me? Know you not that I must be about my father's business? My father's business, is that right? What son don't know about his father's business? You understand what I'm talking about? And if you're, if you're about your father's business, don't you know what your father's name is? Right. And the father's name is Yahweh, and the son is Yahshua. The Holy Spirit is Yahshua. And he's the comforter. He's the teacher who shall teach us all things, is that right? right. And bring all things back to remembrance. You understand? You know, this is exciting, man. You know, I don't care how many years you've been in it. This is, a, it really is. You see know what I'm saying? True. Holy name, man. Exodus 6, 1 and 3. Psalm 68 and 4. Psalm 83, 17. Malachi 3 and 6. John 5, 43. Ah. Exodus 6, verse 2. Yeah, read. So you see what spirit is, right? That's Yahweh. It's attributes. So you read them. And Elohim spake unto Moses and said unto him, Read. I am Yahweh. I am Yahweh. Read. And I appeared unto Abraham. Abraham, unto Isaac, Isaac, and, and Jacob. Unto Yaakov, as and El Shaddai. El means Almighty. Shaddai means what? Provide. But by my name, by Yahweh. Yahweh. Was I not known to them? The patriarchs didn't know him by Yahweh. The name Yahweh was first revealed to Moses at the burning bush. Is that right? And that's why at your burning bush, when that baby is born, it takes in the breath of life, it's called on the name Yahweh. His heart's beating Yahweh, is that right? You're breathing 17,000 times a day, your heart beating 100,000 times a day. You understand what I'm saying? Proving the existence of the Creator. You know Billy Graham? Billy Graham said, no one can prove the existence of, the, of God, he said, right? It's what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that might be true, because all gods are idols. But Yahweh don't have to worry about that. He proved his own existence, right? You understand? That's why I leave every man and all an excuse, is that right? right. You're left out an excuse because you have a su yeah. sufficient, the whole scripture that came and say, you have a sufficient amount of intelligence to know, come to know Yahweh as he really is and actually imbue that in every man. You understand? And you find that, you know, you know mankind turned to drugs, mankind turned to physical things because there's something inside of him that must be satisfied. And the only thing that can satisfy that is Yahshua, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I try to entertain his mind with different kind of LSD, cocaine. You understand what I'm saying? Get a, get a little bit this high here. You don't need none of that junk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See? Yahweh is the most high. That's right. It's not the higher than even. The why and why. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yahweh, Yahshua. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. See? Uh, read it. Yeah. Psalm 68 and 4. Read it. Sing unto Elohim. Elohim, read. Sing praises to his Elohim name. Elohim is not a name, it's a divine time. Came from Aleph, Lamed, Hey, Man. Elohim. Elohim in you. Yahshua, Yad, He, Wa, Shin, Ayen. Yahshua, that's the spelling. The pronunciation is Yahshua. Yahweh, Yad, He, Wa, He. That's the spelling, pronunciation. Yahweh, is that right? See, in English, see the, as I was saying earlier, Yad, He, Wa, He is Y, H, W, H. Go to the first man, Adam. Take the only vowel, insert between the Y and the H form, and Yah, masculine portion. Go to the woman, E. Take the only vowel, E. Insert between the W and the H form, and what? Way. And then the word, uh, male. You have the A first, then the what? The E, is that right? Female has the what? The E first, then the A, is that right? Masculine has the what? The A. Feminine has the what? The E. You have afferent nerves that respond to what? External stimuli in the physical body. And efferent nerves. Is that right? Then the hormone in, in, that, that's more dominant in the male is called what? Androgen. Begins with a what? Yeah. An A. See that? So you have all these witnesses to the A between the, insert in the A between the Y and the A. That's the masculine portion of yeah. And the feminine hormone, estrogen, that's more dominant in the what? Female, that's pronounced with a what? An E. So you have W-E-H, Yahweh, is that right? 
Then the son came in the what? Masculine portion of the father's name. Yahweh is the father. Yahshua is the son. Shua in Hebrew study means what? Salvation. In Hebrew is Yah, Hey, Wa, Shin, Ayen. Five what? Character, just like David had five what? Smooth stone. Slay that giant. Is that right? <laughs> five what? Smooth stone. He came with a sword and all kind of war back with I come to be able to Yeah! Is that right? Right between the eyes and strive. Is that right? You see what I'm saying? Very powerful the name you have right here. So I'm saying with that sling. Yeah, see? Right. Now I uh, get uh, Malachi. Sing on to him. Sing praises to his name. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Yah. Yah. That chap. There's no J. It's Yah. Hallelujah. Yah. Yeah. Yeah. See uh, Malachi three and six. I am Yah when I was changed not. See. John 5, 43, Matthew 1, 21. See? Matthew 1, 21. Matthew 1, 21. And she Matthew. shall bring forth a son. She shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his thou name. Thou shalt call his name Yahshua. Yeah, sure. Is that right? Yah, he, bore, he came in the masculine portion of the Father's name. Shua in Hebrew study means what? Salvation. Greek for Savior, in the Greek word is soter. See, there's no Jesus so here. It's Yahshua. Yahweh is salvation. For he shall save his people from their sins. He shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Yahshua. And thou shalt call his name Yahshua. Stop. And then there's a colon. Thou shalt call his name Yahshua. Sure. Look in the Bible. Is that right? Yes. And there's a colon. In English, when there's a colon, it means you're going to insert what? The meaning, an elaboration of what that word is. means. I'll call it Moshe or Moses because I drew it colon. Because I drew it Moses, what? Moses means what? Draw Moshe up. means draw it up. Thou shalt be for the son, call his name Yahshua, colon. Why? Because he shall say. <laughs> his people from, from their, their sins. sins. So that's his job, is that right? He's into the saving business, soul saving business. So Yahshua, I read um, John 5, oh, John 5 verse 46. Verse 46. How yeah, do you believe Moses in the belief? How do you believe Moses? You would have believed what? Me. For he did what? For you are read nowhere where Moses wrote about anyone called Jesus. Numbers 13 and verse 8. Moses wrote about a man called, read Numbers 13, 8 and 16 verse, a man called Oshia. Numbers 13 verse 8. Oshua, which was, which was called Yahweh. Sure. Sure. Yahweh will be what? Salvation. When he was born through the lines of the Virgin Mary, his name is Yah. Sure, Yahweh is salvation. Read it. Numbers 13, verse 8. Yeah. Of the tribe of Ephraim. Read on. Or sure, the son of Nun. Yeah. Verse 16. And there's no book of Jesus. No. Is there any book of Jesus in the Bible? No. 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 There's a book of? Yahshua. Yahshua. Is that right? See? The road is called Josh. He rose the father John. These right. are the names of the men which Moses sent to right. survey out or spy out the land. Read. And Moses called Yahushua, the son of Nod, Yahushua. Okay. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. I think we mentioned it. Is that right? The gospel, which is, you're saved by the name Yahshua. Acts 4, 10 through 12. Neither is there salvation. In any other, for there is none other what? Name on the heaven given among men whereby we must be seen. And the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, yeah. I declare unto you the gospel. Now the word gospel means what? Good news. Is that right? It is, it's good news that there's life after what? Death. So the gospel is the death, the burial, the resurrection, the, ascent, the third day. According to the scriptures, the ascension and the outpouring of what? The Holy Spirit. For the precept or principle of blood, water, spirit, and forty. Is that right? That's the gospel of our salvation. Read up. 
Amen. Which I preached unto you. Which I preached unto which you. Which also ye have received. Yeah. And where ye stand. Where ye stand. Verse read. 15, verse 2. Verse 2. Read. Which also ye are saved. So you are saved by the preaching of the gospel. Now, if, what is it? You have to know what it is. Is that right? Read. If ye keep in memory. I what have I preached unto institution you. Institution fulfillment. Read. Unless ye have believed in thee. Read on. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. Yeah. How? How? That Yahshua Messiah. What name? Died. What title? Or what reason? In what state and condition? How Yahshua died for our sins? For our sins. According to the scriptures. Read. And that he was buried. And that he was buried. Read. And that he rose again. And that he rose again the third day. According, according to, the to the scriptures. So read it quickly. The first day of creation, the first three days, preaches the gospel of Yahshua Messiah. Right. Earth was without form and void, was in a lifeless, inorganic, death-like state, testifying to the death of Yahshua Musa. Second day, the water sealed or covered the earth, was buried, testifying to the burial of Yahshua Musa. The third day, the water was rolled back, dry land appeared, it went into a body-like state in the holy place, then fruition in the most holy place, testifying to the resurrection, ascension, and the outpouring of the one, the Holy Spirit of Yahshua Musa. Fourth day of creation, the sun came in for seasons and for what? Signs. The sun goes through a death. The earth, you ready? The earth rotates. How fast? Spins on its axis to 1,000 miles per hour. You listening? The circumference of the earth is what? 25,000. So it spins on its axis for 1,000 miles an hour. That's why you get 24 hours making a day. It makes a revolution around the sun 365 days normally and 366 every leap year. And that's what it means. 365 days making a year because of the revolution. Is that right? And it appears like the sun. And the, the sun also is in a circuit. Is that right? Earth is the third planet from the sun. You know, they're the, the, the trying to find life on Mars and spending billions of dollars trying to find life on Mars. Well, there are nine systems in the physical body of our mind. And there's only one responsible for life, which is called the reproductive, the reproductive system. Life. Is that right? Nine planets in our what? Solar system. And these idiots tried to de set a demoted um, Pluto. It's nine systems, nine numbers in the numbering system, nine vessels in the tabernacle. All points to the nine divine principal attributes of Yahweh. Wisdom, knowledge, intelligence, beauty, love, justice, foundation, power, and what? Strength. And only one of those nine planets, the third planet from the sun, Earth. Earth! Number three has what? Is that Life! Right? Is that right? Why number three? Because there's a death, burial, and a what? Resurrection. Yes, the resurrection on the what? Third day. Third rock from the sun. Life! Grow life. Is that right? All conditions are perfect for life. You understand what I'm saying? There's no life on Pluto. Too cold. There's no life on the first one. Mercury, too hot. Is that right? Earth's just right. Is that right? Oh, yeah, right. Just right. You understand? Pro life, death, burial, what? Resurrection on the third. First day, death. Second day, burial. Third day, what? Plant life came forth. Is that right? Went into a what? Bud like state. Is that right? Then into a fruition. Showing forth, he resurrected and poured out the Holy what? Spirit. And now, this is life coming forth without blood. Is that right? On the third day of what? Creation. Then the next three days, the man came from the dust of the earth. Life coming forth with blood. Is that right? So that's a resurrection again. Is that right? Death, burial, what? Resurrection. Death, burial, resurrection again. The what? The third day, is that right? How many times in the tabernacle the high priest had offered the sacrifice? Exodus 29, verse 38, you'll find out that 9 o'clock, death, burial, resurrection. Is that right? Yeah. 3 o'clock, death, burial, resurrection. Again, is that right? You follow me? See? Matthew 16, 21. You have to preach the whole gospel. 28. Yeah, read. And it should be Aaron's and his sons. By a statute forever. Yeah, read. From the children of Israel. Yes. So it is an Eve offering. And it shall be an Eve offering. 29, yeah, 30, uh, there's a morning sacrifice. 38. 38, yes. Yeah. Oh, 29, 30. Thank you. Now, this is that which thou shalt offer of yes. the Lord. One lamb. Two lambs. Two lambs. Of the first day. Day by day. Day by day. First one. Continue. Read. 
The one lamb, thou shalt offer in the morning. Nine o'clock, death, burial, resurrection. And the other lamb, thou shalt offer. Three o'clock, death, burial, resurrection again. Matthew 16, 21. Matthew 16, 21. Read. And from that time forth, Yahshua began to show his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem. How that he must go into Jerusalem. Hold on. You know, I feel like I'm a strong feeling like I'm going to Jerusalem. Give that. You know, you know, you know, you know uh, I have a strong conviction that I'm going to go into Jerusalem. Oh, that he must go into Jerusalem. I'm glad he did. And suffer so what? Many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes. You listen. And you what? Dead. Where do the dead man? Buried. And what? And be raised again the third. Raised again the third. For someone to rise again, he must have died what? Before, because he was the one that was sure the son of what? No. Is that right? Back here, at age 110, he died. Some of that spirit came up, appeared to all the prophets, came on down, born through the lines of the Virgin Mary, went to a death, burial, what? Resurrection again. Is that right? And all the prophets, Daniel, being cast into the lion's den. Death like sin. Buried, stone rolled to the mouth of the dead. Burial, early in the morning he what? Resurrected. Jonah cast into the sea, death. Is that right? Fish swallowed up Jonah, buried. Third day the fish vomited him up. Resurrection, is that right? Third day. And you also have the principle of blood, water, and what? Spirit, 40, you see what I'm saying? And Yahshua went through his death, buried, and what? Resurrection. Then Peter began to rebuke him, read it. Then Peter betook him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be far from thee, Rabbi, we shall not be unto thee. So Yahshua said, I must die, is that right? And who started to rebuke him? The Satan in Peter, is that right? And Yahshua quickly recognized that spirit, because back here he told Adam, In the day that thou eatest there, I have a strong conviction you're going to die. No. no. <laughs> in the day that thou eatest there, thou shalt surely die, is that right? And then Satan said, no, that shall he die, he shall be as hell. Is that right? So it's the same spirit that was in what? That was in opposition to what Yahweh said, was operating through what? Peter, is that right? So Satan was in Peter, is that right? At the night of the Last Supper, he took out Satan. You listen? Satan out of what? Peter and put him where? Judah. Into Judas. And said, what don't do is do it what? Quick. Is that right? And that's what I'm talking about. And Judas what? Died. And he was what? Buried, but he never what? Resurrected, is that right? Only one man, Yahshua, that died, buried, and what? Resurrected. And that's why he raised Lazarus from the dead, is that right? What are you talking about? Lazarus was dead for what? Four days. From Adam to Yahshua is 4,000 years. One day with Yahweh is as a what? A thousand years and a thousand years is as what? So Yahshua is the only resurrection and life and when he really resurrected mankind, you listening? Yeah. After his death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and he poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit in the hearts and mind on the day of Pentecost, you listening? That's when mankind was resurrected from the dead here. Is that right? Spiritually and psychologically. What are you talking about? That that's where the man died. Pick the man up where he died. Where did he die? Adam died in his conscience. Is that right? Where is that? In his toe? No. Finger? No. In his head? No. Is that right? He died in his skull. You understand what I'm talking about? Yahshua died in a place called what? Calvary or Golgotha. Place of the skull. Is that right? Picking the man Adam up. So now, after his death, burial, resurrection, where is he putting life? In his heart and mind. In, in his mind. In his heart and mind. His soul. Is that right? So he had made him alive here first. Where did Adam die first? You listening to me? Right here, is that right? In his heart, in, in his conscience. You listening? The same day when he partook of that what? Fruit. He died, is that right? Then what followed later? Physical death. Physical death. When? 930 years, is that right? He died what? Physical, is that right? Why? To reflect that still within a day. Because one day with Yahweh is as a what? A thousand years. So Yahweh covered both spiritually and what? Physically. So he died in his what? Conscience. Then his body died to reflect the death he died where? Here. So Yahshua made mankind alive in their heart and in their mind. Listen, last but not least. And your future existence is here. 
You're going to receive our immortal, glorified body in the new heaven and new earth scene. But you have to be made alive. We're here first. Acts 2 and 1. The day of Pentecost was full of them. Let's close up. When did the day of Pentecost was full of Yeah. Don't read, because the time is up. So now you find out. AD 34, mankind resurrected from the dead appeared. Seven years later, it was poured out on the what? Gentile. Jew and Gentile, complete in the body of Yahshua the Messiah, complete in the what? The temple. Why? Physically. This temple here was seven years in what? Building. Building. Read it. First Kings 6 and the last two verses. And you have a court for the what? Jews and a court for the what? Gentiles. Is that right? So you find out what happened was when Yahshua died, buried, and resurrected and poured out the Holy Spirit on the Jews. Seven years later, he poured it out on the what? Gentiles. That completes in the what? Temple. Is that right? John 2 90. Destroy this temple and in what? Three days out of what? Really? Praise the God. What are you talking about? Adam is a what? Temple. It's a destruction of this temple. 3,000 years later, who built a temple? Solomon. Is that right? And now what? Moriah. Destroy this temple and in three days, another temple was what? Reared up. Is that right? So after three days, he reared up. I want to learn that John 2 19. First Kings. Chapter 6, First Kings. verses 37 38. Yeah, read. In the fourth year was the foundation of the house of Yahweh laid in the month Zik. Read on. And in the eleventh year, in the month Bull, yeah, which is the eighth month, was the house finished throughout all the parts thereof. Thus was seven years in it. That's how I want. Read it. And it, according to all the fashion of it, read so on. was the seven years. Seven years in, in what? Building. In buildings. So seven years after the what? Jews received Pentecost, the Gentiles received what? Pentecost. What year was it when the Jews received Pentecost? In the one and 34. Because Yahweh made a promise. Get Exodus, Genesis 12 and verse 4. Right? To receive all nations should be what? Bless. Bless. Genesis 12 and 4. And Abraham was 70 and 5 years old. So the day of Pentecost to the Jews was AD what? 34. And to the Gentiles was AD what? 41. Seven years after. 3 plus 4 is what? 7. 4 plus 1 is what? 5. That promise was fulfilled. Both the Jew and what? Gentiles. Is that right? So you find Yahweh made a promise to Abraham that to receive. Genesis the twelfth chapter. Here it is. Genesis chapter four. Yeah, read. So Abraham departed, as Yahweh had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. Read. And Abraham was seventy and five years old. And when you read one through three, three verse, and Yahweh made a promise to him that all to receive all nations of the earth to, will be blessed. And that promise was fulfilled on the day of what? Pentecost. You understand? So seven years after the Jews received Pentecost, the Gentiles received it to complete that promise. 3 plus 4 is what? 7. 84 to 1 to the Gentile. 4 plus 1 is what? 5. Completing the age of Abraham. See? Both Jew and what? Gentile will be blessed. And mankind was resurrected from the spiritual dead. And that completed the temple or the body of Yahshua the Messiah. John 2 9. Then Colossians 1. Read Destroy his temple in three days I will raise it up. He said, destroy this temple. Talking about his what? Body. His body. But he was right by which temple now? Herodian. The Herodian temple. And the Herodian temple was what? Forty six years in what? Building. Read up, read it. Then said the Jews, forty and six years was this temple in building, and thou shalt wear it up in three days. Alright, watch, listen. Your temple was forty six chromosomes in building. Because when that sperm and that egg meet, is that right? All cells are what? 46 chromosomes, include the gametes, or the sex cells. When the egg and the sperm meet, 23 is contributed from the baby, right. the sperm, 23 from the what? Ovum. The ovum, forming that zygote, 46. And from 46, there's cell division. Cells divide into eyes, ears, nose, brain. We have a bald spot. DNA already dictated that. Is that right? From one source came what you are. Is that right? What are you talking about? Everything comes from what? Yahweh, one source, is that right? Yeah. Yahweh is spirit, is that right? Pure intelligence created everything. Cell division, is that right? Yeah. And that's what we are. Four to six what? Chromosome. Chroma means what? 
Color. Soma means what? Body. So that's why our bodies are different colors. In black, he. Thank you, Yashu. It's alright. It's alright. That's how I say. Don't worry about it. Four to six. Now look at Adam. Death, burial, resurrection. 23 on this side. Death, burial, and what? Resurrection. 23 plus 23 is what? 46. Here comes Adam, a temple. So at 46 came a temple, is that right? See, that's in the institution here. Yashu and Messiah said, 46. They said 46 years was this temple in building. And you're going to raise it up in three days. But thus make him the what? Temple of his what? Body. So he went through a death. Burial, resurrection, Friday, 1,000, Saturday, what? Burial, 2,000, and he resurrected the what? 300 part, sanctuary, what? Cleanse, is that right? Death, burial, resurrection, ascension, poured out that Holy Spirit, cleanse mankind's what? Heart and mind, is that right? Or put that Holy Spirit in them, and that's when mankind was resurrected from the dead. Spiritually and what? Psychologically. Colossians 1, verse 26. Thanks for Even the mystery. mystery. Even the mystery. Which has been hid from ages yeah. and from generations. Listen, yeah. this, this, listen. There's two great mysteries in operation here. Mystery of righteousness. Great is the mystery of righteousness. Read. Read, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Read. From ages and generations. Ages and generations. But now is made manifest to his son. Yeah, read. To whom Yahweh would Yahweh. Listen. Listen. the riches of the glory of this mystery. What is the riches of the, of the glory? Yeah. yeah. Who Listen. Is? You're in the right place. If you're here for the first time, come back. This is it. This is the truth. The unadulterated truth. is the truth. Yahshua is the truth. This is the true gospel of the kingdom. The death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, blood, water, spirit, father. I'll pour the Holy Spirit in the name of Yahshua by the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. And there is no other way for salvation. Who is? Yahshua the Messiah. And Yahshua has to be resurrected in you. The Greek. hope of glory. All the hope of glory. Who we preach. Warning yeah. every man. Yeah. And teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Yahshua the Messiah. You know, I get out of this work and you gotta go to work tomorrow. All grace is going to Yahweh and peace. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any questions? Are there any announcements?